Okay, so I'm now on Microsoft Dynamics NAV version 5. I'm going to show you how Econ is fully integrated with Microsoft Dynamics NAV. First, I'm going to go into my sales and marketing area, order processing order. Could have been a quote as well, but I'm going to create a new order here. So first, new order, I'm going to pick a customer. And in the item, I'm going to put in a special item that NAV knows is a configurable item. So what I expect to see is that when I get off the cell, NAV is going to automatically bring up our econ product. That's what it did. When I see my econ, this is a door model. We've seen the door model before on the website, which you're welcome to go and try it out yourself. This one is a little bit different than the website. It has a couple of different areas that I'd like to talk about here that I didn't talk about on when I, when I covered the door model on the website. So we saw here how we can pick a specific door. We saw how we can have different sizes set up for the door. And you can pick left and right hinges. We also saw that there is a margin calculation and a price calculation. I also added a button here to the bottom where you can show the costs of the door you're configuring. Now note here that I've chosen this Germany model and some sizes. Note that if I go down to the French model, the top size is not available. So I have a list of available sizes for each and every model. So when I switched from the Germany to France, the size that I had selected for my length was not available in France. So it left this open for me to fill it in. This is easily maintainable through NAV's matrices, and I'll show you that later on when we process this order back into NAV. We continue on with the model, choosing our glazing, whatever that may be. Choose some options here. Going into my accessories, one difference that we had, we'll choose our hinges. One difference that we had is that before this was a text box, the demo website. Here is a comma box. You can make your selection of how many hinges you might like to have and what type of hinge it is. One thing that I'd like to point out here is on my locks, I've got two different options, either a non-standard cylinder lock or just a regular cylinder lock. The difference is you see this zoom button here. If I don't check that, what this drop-down is actually doing is going into NAV and pulling the available options within NAV for that specific type of lock. If I select this, what I'm actually doing, you see you change the size here, you have quite a few more options. What I'm actually doing is changing my source of the information. Instead of dynamically pulling information from NAV, I'm actually pulling it from an Excel file. What's the advantage of this to you? The advantage is that if you have things such as the lock or the hinges, which you may have sold a couple of different ones, but there are many, many other options available on the market. Instead of putting them all in your system, you're able to keep some of them in your system and some of them in just a catalog Excel file that you've received from your vendor. And you're able to query that up and have that information here so that you have a lot more availability than you actually have already set up in your system. So that's a really, really great feature that's pretty unique on uh, the configurator market where you can, within the same configuration, change the source of where you're pulling this information from. In this case, you're pulling it from either Excel or 
straight from NAV. And then we finish up our configuration here. And remember we had the drawing of that particular door based on those measurements and my specifications with a detailed text of what I just configured. Now, if you press the Save button, what this is going to be doing is this configuration is going to get exported out into an XML file and then brought into processed and brought into NAV. You see now I have a item in here that's configured based on that configuration that we just did. If I go into that specific item, I can see that item. If I go into that item card, the replenishment tab, I can go look at the bomb. I can look at the bomb card and all of the details that we configured with all the pieces that we configured. I can also look at, if I get back to my item here, I can look at extended text and you'll see that same text that we had configured on the item when we were in the configurator. So you can see that all of that information has been processed and entered here in Dynamics NAV. I also know that a lot of times clients may change their mind and they call us back and say, hmm, I'd like to change that configuration to something different. I'd like a different type of door model, for example, or a different hinge. I can easily do that by coming back into my item as I press tab again, it's going to recognize that, hey, this is a configured item. It's already been configured. Would I like to reconfigure this object? If I say yes, it is going to pull up that same configuration that we had before. The exact same information that we already had set up previously. Another thing that I like to show you is that we talked about it using a dynamic web-based interface. If I went to my properties, I can see here how I can look at the address for this particular page. And if I open up my Internet Explorer, I can simply paste that in the same address bar. And you see it's that same configuration page. So I'm just demonstrating here that even though it was pulled up from Dynamics in NAV, it is just a web-based interface. Here in this case, I am not going to change that configuration, save it back. Information is back in NAV. Another thing that I'd like to show is on the model, we showed how for each DAR model, you have multiple different options on sizes, for example. So if I go back in here in my econ, I have my decision matrices for the E door. If I open my decision matrix pro and I'm going to filter here on door model. Okay. You see here how for every door model, which is what you see on top, my model Italy, I have these lengths available and this these widths available. Within these lengths and widths, I have the X's, which are my defaults. So I can easily configure this or set it up and maintain through matrices where I don't have to create all the rules manually. I can just set up a matrix for my different options, my different combinations, so it's easy to maintain easy to set up for your models. And you can use matrices for anything and everything you'd like. Another comment that I want to mention is that in our case here, we set up a new order. But as I mentioned earlier, Econ is unique in that it doesn't only serve as a product configurator. Any record within, in this case, Microsoft Dynamics NAV, but also Microsoft Dynamics AX, you can configure that record 
as long as you have a record in the database. So for example, if you want a simple configuration for entering new customers, you can use econ to configure a new customer. If you want a simple configuration to enter a new user, you can use econ for that as well. So econ can be used and leveraged within Microsoft Dynamics products, NAV, AX, CRM, on any record within those products. For more information about this product or other to increase products, please visit www.to-increase.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.